All right, I'm going to be talking about Siamese cat coloration. So, tyrosinase is the enzyme that converts tyrosine to melanin. It is temperature sensitive, so um, that's why on the cooler areas of the body, like the paws and the face and the ears, um, it's uh, been converted to melanin, but at the core body temperature, it's too warm for the enzyme to convert tyrosine to melanin, so in those areas, they'll be white. So yeah, like you said. And then all those, the cooler parts are also called the, the uh, points of the animal. Points, you know, the right. points is so, what a lot of times yes. people call it. So, a lot of times kittens will look different from adult cats. As you can see here, the kittens are much lighter in color. And that's because when they're in the womb, the environment is really warm, so it inhibits the um, tyrosinase from working. So they're all white. And uh, then as they get older, their points, like their extremities, start to turn darker. So this is just <clears throat> an example. This is my kitten, or well, he was a kitten when I got him, as you can see. Here he's like a lot lighter than he is now. He's gotten much darker on his points. He's dark. Yeah, he, yeah. So um, I got him when he was really, really young because I was fostering and he was bottle feeding. So you can see an example before he started to turn. Um, and then here's another example of how you can see that high temperatures create the lighter color and low temperatures create the darker color. I found this story online of a cat who had uh, surgery, so he had been shaved in this area, and it was winter time. So then, when his fur grew back, it was darker because it was cold. It was exposed to the cold here, and then that fur turned dark. But when the springtime came, he turned white again. Oh, did he? Okay, that's a very good example. I was wondering if you could like maybe shave a certain word <laughs> and then have it grow dark. <laughs> Pretty good. It was cold. Don't do this at all. <laughs> But it's not permanent. <laughs> yeah. So the Burmese cat also has the same gene, um, but it's less expressive. So you can see that it's a little bit darker on their points as well, but it's much less contrasting than in the Siamese cat. So in theory, if um, we covered up their extremities and like the points that would turn dark and keep them warm, then they would stay white. But that's pretty impossible. So um, if tyrosinase wasn't temperature sensitive, then all of their fur would turn dark. But since it is, only the cooler areas turn dark. And that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had people tell me, like, if you raise kittens and they're raised, like, maybe outside where it's cooler mm -hmm. versus another litter that's raised inside, they're very noticeable mm -hmm. difference. Yeah, so, I've seen lots of areas. Yeah, so our theme is enzymes. We're talking about enzymes.